Some people believe that anxiety, depression, and stress are things that you should be able to control. And what I say to them is, can you control a migraine headache? Can you control a broken arm? Now these are physical symptoms that you can see when people are suffering. And we tend to have more compassion for people who have a physical symptom than for someone who is struggling with a mental health issue. So today I wanna to talk to you about my story with anxiety and the tools that have helped me and how they can help you. If you're interested, keep watching. Hello, beautiful friends. My name is Monica Paz. I'm a certified nutritionist and a functional nutrition lifestyle practitioner. I'm also the founder of Nourish Functional Nutrition, where I teach you how to get to the root causes of your symptoms and how to use food as medicine. In this channel, I give you all of the tools that I have at my disposal to help you go from confused and frustrated about your health to empowered and excited to take your health to the next level. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and remember to tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. Have you noticed that when you break an arm or if you get a diagnosis of a physical ailment, people come to your aid and they have compassion for you. But when you struggle with something that has to do with your mind and your emotional health, people just expect you to get over it. What happened to me was I was going through perimenopause in my 40s. I had no idea what was happening. And during that time, I had a very stressful job and I made it even more stressful by the thoughts that I had about the job. And so I did not have the coping skills. I did not have any tools or anyone to talk to. And in the meantime, my body was going through a hormonal change and that hormonal change caused pain because anxiety and stress will manifest itself as pain in your body. I didn't know that. I had joint pain. I went to every physical therapist. I went to every orthopedist and physiatrist. I had scans and all kinds of things and no one could tell me why I was in pain. I was a runner, so I figured that the running was not good for me. So I gave up running, which was the thing that I really needed because uh, the endorphins had kept me positive and had kept me going, but now I was down in a downward spiral, not knowing what to do, um, very tearful, unable to cope, and just wanting to get help, but not knowing where to go. So I found functional nutrition just through a series of events where I went to the doctor and my blood sugar was elevated and I had a slow thyroid. So I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. But when you think about it, what I wanna say is making the connection between your symptoms and what's happening to you is so, so important. Now, when I look back in the lens of functional nutrition, remember everything is connected, all things matter and we are all individual. So we are very unique. And nobody could have told me what was going on in my body. Only I could be able to tell that. And that's why I'm here. I wanna help you understand that anytime that you have a mental condition, stress, anxiety, depression, ADD, any of these things, it's going to be associated with pain because your body is always trying to give you a signal. And that signal is usually in the form of pain because that's what we pay attention to. Do not numb the pain. Do not try to self-medicate or do something to make it go away. I'm here to tell you that once you acknowledge and realize that the pain has a purpose, that the pain is speaking to you and that you need to dig deeper, you need to lean into that pain so that you can understand your body and how it works. So. What I ended up doing was I cleaned up my diet and things settled down a little bit because all of this has to do with inflammation. And inflammation begins in the gut. So repairing the gut and working with the gut, decreasing the inflammation, getting rid of the things that don't serve us like alcohol and sugar and processed foods, all of that is going to calm your nervous system because in the very end, what you wanna do is you wanna get to rest and digest. 
Rest and digest is the opposite of fight or flight. In fight or flight, you're going to have pain and you're going to have suffering. And so how do we do that? We have tools. One is breathing, meditation. I use heart math and heart math is a way of getting coherence in your heart. In other words, getting your breath to sync with your heartbeat so that you can come to a place of rest, not a place of anxiety. And acknowledging that the pain comes because the anxiety is there, the mental angst is there, and we need to do something to connect to the earth. So grounding, getting your feet on the ground, barefoot outside, going for a walk in the woods, connecting with someone you love, reminding yourself of all the memories of the places you have been and the people you have been with that made you happy, eating a good meal with friends and family, connecting. And the, the thing is that when we're in a state of anxiety, we want to withdraw and that is the opposite of what you need. And so remember, there's breathing, meditation, prayer, connecting to a higher being is my number one priority. I have all of these tools available to you and I would like to help you if you need help. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm at Monica at nourishfunctionalnutrition.com. You can go to my website. We could do a free discovery call and talk about how to manage stress and anxiety. These times are unprecedented times and everyone is stressed out. Don't think that you are an exception. All of us need something to help us ground and this is not a one and done. I always say that, not a one and done. It is a practice. It is something that we do on a regular basis. Every day is different and the present moment is what we have. And so let's have quality of life. Let's use some tools to get us to feel the best that we possibly can. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye everybody.